Hi, I'm Craig. And I'm Linda. Us two Kiwis have been traveling around the world full time since February 2006. In this series of videos from IndieTravelPodcast.com, we'd like to take you around the world with us. So we've just arrived at the Bristol Wine and Food Festival, and we plan to go and try some wines and eat some food. But first off, we're going to go and see a cooking display, so let's see what that's like. I'm trying to, uh, trying to do a few dishes that we do in uh, the two restaurants we got, and um, yeah, I try, I try and do things that are, that, people, that are simple for people to do at home. There's no point showing them any flashy stuff that they can't do using ingredients they can't get. We do some nice simple stuff, cheap as well, given these tough economic, uh, economic times. And um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what, what I use kind of decide how I'm going to create my menu. It's so soft. Delicious. This cherry tomato is so perfect. So our first stop is the Drunken Monk Meadery, and I'm trying the table mead. No, it's very light. It's got a, a nice honey, obviously, after taste. It's long and lingering. It's very sweet. And we're trying some British wine. Now this wine belongs to a friend of his who runs the Three Choirs Vineyard. It's about one hour north of here. We just had the white and I'm about to try the rosé. It's very crisp. Not very much kind of red fruit but very nice for outside. Crazy eyes. Look at this, look at this. This is Nero Davila. So we've just found the Italian stand and they have five different types of Nero Davila. So we're trying the first one. I don't know which brand it is. Mm, it's got that really, really rich Nero Davila flavor. What on earth is Nero Davila? Oh yeah. So Nero Davila is a wine from Sicily that we discovered when we were in Sicily. And it's only made in Sicily, so you can't get it anywhere else. Well, you can buy it in other places. But it's only made there. So it's a very flavorful red variety, obviously, as you can see from my glass. And it's just got a really full flavor. Cherries and plums and oh my goodness. I could drink it all day, but I don't think I can. I've got to try other wines, so it's a bit of a video. Okay, I have cheese, parmesan, and there's three different types. 18 months, 22 and 30. So as the cheese ages, it changes the flavor. instructions on how to eat an oyster. Um, I need to suck it up, press the roof, the roof of my mouth, find the little muscle, and then give it a little bit of a chew. So I'm not usually the kind of person to eat an oyster, so let's, um, let's find out. An oyster, I should say. So we're at the uh, stand of a British winery, an English one. It's called Strawberry Hill, and I'm about to try the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's got a lovely full nose on it. Palette. It's got a lovely long aftertaste. See this last? It's 
empty and I'm very sad about that but luckily it has been filled many times. We've tried lots of different wines from Britain, from France, from Spain, from New Zealand. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have tried that one from New Zealand. We have had New Zealand wine, never. And from Australia as well, so it's been a really good day.